Ladies and gentlemen, this is I Am Hotep, Atom L. Um, I made a previous video about um, appealing a, a child support case, but it looks like the court of appeal is against the people. Um, in my previous video, you know, I explained that I was never served. Uh, and it's up to, since child support is the one saying that I did get served and I deny it, as a legal maxim saying that they should be able to prove that they served me. Um, the Court of Appeal in California, 4th District, Division 1, uh, dismissed my case um, based on no evidence. Uh, basically, they dismissed it based on they didn't want to deal with it. So I will read here the dismissal order. Let me zoom in a little bit um, so you guys can see this clearly. So it says, the court has received and considered the appellant's letter brief. Filed on November 25th, 2016, regarding the timeliness of his appeal, the matter has been considered by Presiding Justice McConnell and Associate Justice Erion and O'Rourke, and the appeal is dismissed as untimely. So they're, it, so they basically, it sounds like they didn't really take what I said at all into consideration. So under the California rules, uh, the Rules of Court, Rule 8.104A1, a notice of appeal must be filed on or before the earliest of 60 days after the Superior Court clerk serves the party filing the appeal with a notice of in notice of entry of judgment or filed endorsed copy of, of the judgment. B. 60 days after the party filing the notice of appeal serves or is served or is served with a notice of entry of judgment or filed endorsed copy of the judgment. See, that never happened. So they didn't consider that. And uh, see, 180 days after the entry of judgment. Under that rule, appellant was required to file his notice of appeal on or before May 31st, 2016, which is, that's actually more than 160 days after December 1st, 2016. So they got their days wrong or 180 days after entry of December 1st, right, December 1st, uh, 2015. Appellant's notice of appeal filed on October 6th is therefore untimely. That's because I never knew. Um, to the extent appellant raises equitable arguments to overcome the appellant deadline, neither mistake, inadvertence, accident, misfortune, estoppel, nor waiver can afford relief from the jurisdictional necessity of filing a timely of notice of appeal, Sharp versus Union Pacific, uh, eighth volume, California Appellant, fourth edition, pages 357 and 361. Um, there's error here. There's a definite error here. Uh, first of all, December 1st would be more than 160 days to May 31st and uh, they're saying my well they're saying B of uh, the California rule 8.104 B 60 days after the party fil filing a notice of appeal served serves or is served with a notice of appeal that this that never happened notice of appeal never happened I never got that so again, they're going against their own court rule here. Uh, let me read the last um, paragraph. The time for appealing a judgment is jurisdictional. Once the deadline expires, the appellant has no power to entertain the, inter the appeal. And they noted uh, a case here. The court is therefore without jurisdiction to consider the appeal. So basically, what they're saying is they don't want to take the appeal because they even told on themselves right here, right? That, that I was served. If I said I wasn't served, I wasn't served. 
And there's no, and if they didn't produce any evidence to say that I was served, the onus is on the one who accuses, not the one who denies. So they're, er they're with error here. So I can take this probably to an a federal appellate court or federal court now, uh, since they said this and it wasn't true. Um, and then the thing that they wanted the backup, they put a court case here, right? And it's California appellate. So the fourth, um, fourth edition, 15 volume, fourth edition, um, pages 51 and 56. So they approved what they wanted to approve and they dismissed what they didn't want to see. Um, of course, that the rule is still uh, in effect here, but in effect only if uh, due process is um, is exercised, which it wasn't. So this is I consider this uh, almost frivolous uh, in my situation. So I'm very disappointed in the judicial system for siding with their buddies uh, child support. And there's nothing they can do to change my mind there. So actually, there's another rule, even after that was filed, to a notice of rehearing. All right. So I sent the letter in. It was only one page, very easy, easy to decipher. And uh, this is what they said about my notice of rehearing. The court has read and considered appellant's notice of rehearing due to extenuating circumstances filed on December 12, 2016. The court construes it as a motion to vacate the dismissal, the dismissal order filed on December 7, 2016 and to reinstate the appeal. Appellant does not set forth facts that would provide the court with jurisdiction to hear his untimely appeal. California court rules um, 8.104B. No court may extend the time to file a notice of appeal. For the same reason set forth in court order dismissing the appeal, appellant's motion is denied. So again, I tried to get a, re a rehearing and it was denied. Shit. The only thing I could think of here is you know, they just they just don't want to hear it. They're sticking to this like glue. This rule right here, they're sticking to it like glue. But of course, this rule was written in accordance with um, um, what is it? Section, section, um, Article One, Section Nine of the California of the California State Constitution. Um, I can type here, section one, uh, sorry, article, uh, if I can type here, article one, <laughs> shit, what's wrong with me this morning, article one, section nine, uh, let's see, no, not this one, let's go back. We don't care about Anna Birds. Um, Cornell. Cornell usually has a lot of good stuff. So, let's see. The mitigation of importation of such person as any of the states now existing shall. No, there's no titles of nobility. Okay, no. Let's just look up. Um, I should know that, but let's go do process clause. So this is the fifth and fourteenth amendments. Let's look at Wikipedia. So the 5th and 14th Amendments to the U.S. Constitution each contain a due process clause. Due process deals with the administration of justice 
and thus the due process clause acts as a safeguard from arbitrary denial of life, liberty, or property by the government outside the sanction of law. The Supreme Court of the United States interprets the clauses more broadly because these clauses provide four protections. Procedural due process, substantive due process, a prohibition against vague laws, and as the vehicle for the incorporation of the Bill of Rights, due process ensures the rights and the quality of all citizens. So this is what the California Court of Appeals, which is an Article Three court, did not want to deal with in my case. They had no interest in the incorporation of my Bill of Rights. Um, so it seems like either I need to take it to a superior court, which is what act, which would actually be taken a, a, a level lower than the Article Three court to be an Article One appeal, or um, I've already tried to take this case into federal court, but I didn't understand the federal question. So I'm probably going to go to the law library do some research on the federal question and try to move the jurisdiction. But even then, um, there's timelines. So uh, I really don't know what I'm going to do there. Um, but, you know, I'm, I'm working on not using a social security card and, you, and actually I have my own business, which I'm trying to um, get up to speed. So that's I think that's the best solution right there is the ladder, just to get out of their system, um, stop being a slave, and just do my own thing because working for somebody else is just, when you use that social security card, it's, it's some bullshit. It's just bullshit. Uh, all, all brothers and sisters need to get out, out of that, you know. Um, we all have the ability to generate our own income without working for someone else. Um, so as soon as we learn that, you know, we become, you know, you become more godlike in your approach, and uh, you'll be listening to um, the seven the seven principles of Tahuti. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, um, I. Let's see the laws that I remember offhand. I remember the, the, the principle of rhythm, the principle of polarity, the principle of gender, um, uh, that's four. There's three more principles I haven't memorized. Um, damn, I, okay, yeah, I don't, I don't remember any more than that, but I'll, I'll, look, I'll update you guys on how this is all a spiritual process, man. You got to learn patience. You got to learn how to endure. Um, and you got to learn how to try to figure out what these motherfuckers are saying. You know what I'm saying? These motherfuckers is talking, these legalese. And they understand exactly what I'm saying to these motherfuckers. But uh, they don't want to give me my due process. It's like, oh, who does this nigga think he is? So in California, it's a little, I guess it's a little tougher than other states. But uh, I'm just doing what's, what the law is allowing me to do, and I'm doing what God is allowing me to do. The El Kalum, the all, is allowing me to do. So man wants to try to shut me down, or woman wants to try to shut me down, but they're, they're not the only game in town. So, you know, I just got to do my due diligence and uh, it hit these dudes where it hurts, um, which is basically running my own shit. Um, but besides that, even if I do run my own shit, I'm still going to um, um, get this taken care of. So I would never talk tell anybody that not to fight this keep fighting it it's worth it keep fighting it because these people do not want you to take them to court they do not want they, they'll do anything i actually have some
kind of I kind of have a, an idea or a suspicion that child support may have gotten to the court of appeals. That that's how far I'm willing to take it. <clears throat> so, but they won't be able to get to a federal court. Uh, more than likely. So I ne need to try to get it back into a, a, a federal jurisdiction uh, with the timeline. You know, they didn't let me, They I didn't get served. So it's more of a fact that I told the apparent courts I didn't get served. I told them numerous times I didn't get served. They didn't listen. They didn't want, you know, they didn't want to take heed to what I was saying. But they could not disprove what I was saying. <clears throat> So um, they could take child support's word for it, but the word isn't solid either without any proof. It is, there's no proof beyond a reasonable doubt that I was served. And I'll stick to my story until they can prove to me that I'm wrong. So what, you know, I'm just going, you know, I'll let you guys know where I take it from here. But it's kind of interesting how corrupt the... Uh, the um, even Article Three courts are within the state, um, so I just want to let you guys know all this. the The fight is not over; <laughs> it's far from motherfucking over. Uh, we from Cali, nigga, we ride, and we ain't gonna stop riding to the justice is served. So we'll see what the fuck's happening with this. We'll see what's popping. Um, you know, the courts shall be open to every man for injury done to him, and and in this case. The court was not open. Uh, the court was closed-minded, ignorant, and full of fucking shit. Uh, so the court can kiss my motherfucking ass. That's that's how I feel. But we'll take it a different route. Uh, this time I'll let you guys know. Uh, I know Ahmed tried, tried to help, but in this instance, uh, he was unable to help. Um, and so I'll have to take it into my own hands to try to get the motherfucking shit done. You know what I'm saying? So, um, again, here, my due process clause is supposed to be protected, but, uh, but of course, that did not happen. So, you know, I got the letter. I was heated. I was heated when I first got the letter back, but I'm like, hey, what do you expect from a corrupt government? Um, so it took me a couple of days to, you know, kind of calm down, get my wits about me. And uh, and give it another shot. So anyway, you know, give me a view, give me a like, man. Um, just trying to show you guys what I'm going through. As far as this child support bullshit, uh, they're scared. Uh, they do not want me to put this into the uh, into court and give it a publication. But I'll I'll try again. You know what I'm saying? I'll keep trying until we get in the court. Because once I get in the court, I got them. I got them. I got them because they're not even following their own laws. So if I get them in the court, I'm going to win. Uh, but that's the tough part, getting in the court. So you know what I'm saying? Uh, peace to the El Kalum, peace to the gods, peace to the Elohim, peace to everything it took to make me and make you view in this video. And uh, let's stick together. If you got any comments, you know, leave them in the comments below the video. Um, but besides that, you know, I'm out. Uh, I gotta, I gotta make this money, not for them, but for me. And, um, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.